I started Otoy over a decade ago to realize a very specific vision, which was to use GPUs to enable photorealistic graphics um, that are on par with what you see in films through CGI with the interactivity and flexibility that we have in video games. And today that is possible through Octane Render. Octane on the same cost silicon is about 10 times faster than CP rendering and in some cases 40 times faster. So the cost savings and the scalability of doing GPU rendering is incomparable. In traditional feature film visual effects, there's this idea of CBB could be better. That term came about because everyone knows that you're going to run out of time and money at some point. CBB is, I can live with it, but man, I really wish we could keep tweaking it. Now with, with Octane and with GPU rendering, Everything is CBB, not as in like, I don't like it, but I'm gonna have to accept it. It's CBB as in, it could be better. Let's make it better. Let's keep changing it. When we were doing stuff with normal CPU rendering back in the day, we would struggle to get one or two takes to something that, that is kind of near what we were expecting to get. But a lot of times we had to settle because we ran out of time. GPU rendering and Octane allow people to iterate much, much faster. And with that comes a better product because you get to experiment a lot more with the lighting and the look of the materials and stuff. And because you can do that so much faster, people are having fun with it and then the end result is much, much better. Everything takes so long in VR because you're at such high resolutions and you're having to worry about a full 360 instead of a 90. When we switched to Octane, we were able to not just sort of tell people where we would be 48 hours from now, but show them a quick rough approximation of something so that we could talk about size and distance and color. Now the speed up is so much that the last project that we did, every workstation was part of the render farm and it was because they all had quad GPUs and were faster and more powerful than any CPU render farm. One of the biggest requests that we got from our customers over the years in order to replace CPU rendering entirely was scenes didn't fit into GPU memory. And GPU memory even today is 16 to 24 gigs. But with NVLink, we can create a combined 64 gigs of memory. And it's incredible that we're at this point today. And it wouldn't be possible without NVLink. We're at a really interesting crossroads right now where thanks to tools like Octane and GPU rendering, I think you're going to start seeing Rendering in real time, but not rendering with a game engine. Rendering with the tools that we've been using for decades to make feature film visual effects. And there's absolutely no way that that's going to happen without GPU rendering. All that power at my fingertips allows me to do things I would never be able to do before. Without banks and banks of CPU processors ready to go, it's great. I will never, ever go back to CPU rendering.